What if the secret to prosperity lies within the pages of the oldest book in the world? This isn't a question to take lightly. The Bible, an ancient text, is revered by many not just for spiritual guidance, but also as a manual for living a prosperous life. But what does prosperity mean in a biblical sense? Well, biblical prosperity goes beyond the limited view of wealth accumulation. It's a holistic concept that encompasses health, peace, spiritual growth, and yes, material wealth too. It's about thriving in every aspect of life, not just in your bank account. The Bible is a treasure trove of wisdom and principles that can guide us to this kind of prosperity. It offers us a blueprint for personal growth, spiritual enrichment, and an abundant life. It teaches us that prosperity is not something we chase after, but something we attract by being in alignment with God's principles. Take a moment to reflect on this. It's a profound shift from the world's view of prosperity as a relentless pursuit of wealth. In the biblical perspective, prosperity is a state of being, a reflection of inner wholeness and spiritual alignment. Remember, this is not about using the Bible as a get-rich-quick scheme. It is about understanding and applying its timeless principles to our lives. It is about aligning our desires and actions with divine wisdom. It's about embracing a life of integrity, generosity, faith, and wisdom. So, how do we do this? How do we unearth the wisdom of the ages and apply it to our lives today? That's what we're going to explore in this series. We'll delve into biblical parables and principles that teach us about prosperity. We'll discuss the power of faith, the principle of giving, the importance of wisdom, and how to embrace the concept of biblical prosperity in our lives. Unearth the wisdom of the ages and set foot on the path to true prosperity. It's a journey that promises not just material wealth, but a rich and fulfilling life in all aspects. And it all begins with understanding the biblical path to prosperity. Remember the parable of the talents? It's not just a story about money. Indeed, it's a tale that unfolds timeless principles of stewardship, responsibility, and diligent work. Principles that, when applied, can lead to prosperity in various aspects of our lives. Let's dive into the parable, found in Matthew 25 verses 14 to 30. It tells of a master who entrusts his servants with talents, a form of currency in ancient times, before embarking on a journey. The first servant receives five talents, the second two, and the third one talent, each according to their abilities. The first two servants, embodying the spirit of stewardship and responsibility, get to work. They invest and multiply their talents. But the third servant, paralyzed by fear, buries his talent in the ground. Upon the master's return, the first two servants are commended for their diligent work and faithful stewardship, their talents having grown. The third servant, however, is reprimanded for his lack of initiative and the talent is taken from him. You see, this parable isn't just about financial prosperity, it's a powerful message about how we should manage every resource, opportunity, and gift that comes our way. Whether it's our time, skills, or wealth, we're called to be diligent stewards, using what we've been given to create value and make a positive impact. The parable also underscores the importance of taking responsibility. The third servant blamed his fear on his master, shying away from taking ownership of his actions. Yet, the first two servants, entrusted with more, didn't back away from the challenge or make excuses, they took responsibility and reaped the rewards. Lastly, the parable celebrates diligent work. It shows us that prosperity doesn't just fall into our laps. It's the result of consistent, focused effort. The first two servants didn't just wait for their master's return. They actively worked to increase their talents. Just like the faithful servants in the parable, we too can multiply what we've been given and enjoy the master's commendation. Well done, good and faithful servant. And... What if the key to receiving is actually giving? This might sound like a paradox, but it's a fundamental principle found in the Bible. It's all about the law of sowing and reaping. Let's dive into the scriptures. In the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 38, it says, Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you use will be the measure you get back. This verse is highlighting the principle of reciprocity. When we give, we create a cycle of blessings that returns to us in greater measure. A similar principle is echoed in Proverbs chapter 11, verses 24 to 25. It goes like this. One person gives freely yet gains even more, another withholds unduly but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper, whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Here, we see that generosity doesn't lead to depletion, but rather to prosperity. By giving, we are not losing. Instead, we are gaining more.
This is the divine economy of God. The principle of giving, however, is not just about physical or material things. It's about our time, our love, our service, our forgiveness, and our kindness. It's about sowing good deeds and positive energy into the lives of others. The more we give, the more we receive in return. This is not a transactional relationship, but a transformational one. But let's remember it's not just about giving, but how we give. It's about giving cheerfully, not grudgingly. Why? Because God loves a cheerful giver. Our attitude in giving is as important as the act of giving itself. So, as we sow seeds of kindness, love, and generosity, let's do it cheerfully, full of faith and expectation. Let's remember that giving is not a loss but an investment, an investment into God's kingdom, into people's lives and into our own spiritual growth. As we give not grudgingly but cheerfully, we set the stage for God's blessings to overflow in our lives. Did you know that faith and wisdom are two sides of the prosperity coin? Yes, indeed they are. When these two elements are combined, they create a potent blend that can lead to true prosperity in life. Let's take a moment to dive into the Bible to understand this better. The book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 tells us that wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting get understanding. This scripture highlights the importance of wisdom, not just in managing our resources, but in every aspect of our lives. Wisdom helps us make prudent decisions, avoid pitfalls, and maximize opportunities, ultimately leading to prosperity. But wisdom alone is not enough. We also need faith. The book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 states, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Faith in God's promises is an essential component of biblical prosperity. It is the belief that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Now you may wonder, how do faith and wisdom work together? Think of it this way. Faith is the engine that propels us forward, while wisdom is the steering wheel that guides our path. Faith fuels our actions with the belief that God will fulfill his promises, while wisdom provides the discernment to make sound decisions. When faith and wisdom work in tandem, they create a harmonious balance that propels us toward prosperity. In the grand scheme of life, we must remember that prosperity is not just about material wealth. It's about spiritual growth, peace of mind, and a life filled with love and joy. And these are the things that faith and wisdom can truly bring about. So, as you journey through life, remember this. Faith and wisdom are your companions. Embrace them, nurture them, and let them guide you. With faith to believe and wisdom to steward, prosperity is well within your reach. So, how do we embrace this biblical prosperity in our own lives? Well, it begins by recognizing that prosperity is not solely about financial wealth. It's a holistic concept that encompasses peace, happiness, health, and spiritual fulfillment. The Bible provides us with some clear, practical steps to achieve this kind of prosperity. Firstly, it encourages us to be diligent in our work. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 23 tells us that, In all toil there is profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. This means that we must be willing to work hard and do our best in everything we undertake. Diligence is not just about working hard, but also about working smart, investing our time and energy wisely. Secondly, the Bible teaches us to be good stewards of the resources entrusted to us. In the parable of the talents, those who used their talents wisely were rewarded, while the one who wasted his talent was rebuked. This principle applies to our finances, our time, our talents, and even our environment. We are called to manage and use these resources wisely, not squander them. Next, we are called to give generously. The principle of giving is a powerful one in the Bible. Acts chapter 20 verse 35 reminds us that it is more blessed to give than to receive. Generosity is a hallmark of a prosperous life, as it reflects a heart that is not bound by material possessions, but finds joy in blessing others. Finally, we are encouraged to seek wisdom from God. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 tells us that the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Wisdom is the ability to make good decisions, to discern what is right and best. It is a valuable asset in navigating life's challenges and opportunities. Embrace these principles and watch as your life begins to flourish in ways you've never imagined. By aligning our lives with these biblical principles, we position ourselves to experience a prosperity that transcends material wealth and brings true fulfillment.